your greatest fears become reality. Oh, God. Oh, God. Welcome to Fear Factor. Each show, six contestants from around the country battle each other in three extreme stunts. Oh, God. I don't think I can do this. These stunts are designed to challenge the contestants both physically and mentally. If a contestant is too afraid to complete a stunt, they're eliminated. Can't do it, dude. If they fail a stunt, they're eliminated. But if they succeed, they move one step closer to the grand prize. $50,000. Six contestants, three stunts, one winner. Fear Factor. I'm Joe Rogan. This is Fear Factor. The stunts you're about to see were all designed and supervised by trained professionals. They are extremely dangerous and should not be attempted by anyone, anywhere, anytime. and real competitive and I was always involved in sports and cheerleading and gymnastics. So far I've been really successful in everything I've tried so I'd be shocked if I wasn't successful in this. It's all about the adrenaline, it's all about getting the rush from whatever you can do. And the piercing thing was also just an expression. It's something you've experienced in your life that puts you a little further. Everything you accomplish in life is a trophy. Depends how you wear it. A lot of mine are on my face. When people meet me, they see a very tiny five foot two girl and they think, you know, she's not capable of doing anything. I want to prove to everyone else and to myself that I am capable of doing everything just as good, if not better, than they can. Well, growing up, I played a lot of sports and uh, I take it very seriously and I'm taking this very seriously. And my game plan is to make sure that I can do every stunt. I just have to do it if I want this 50,000. I'm not your average church girl. I work at a church and everybody's labeled me Rocktavia because they think of me more as a tomboy, but I can still dress up and look pretty as a girl but hang out with the best of them. My name is Eric the Viking. I go into work and battle every day. You strive to win and my determination in that regard is pretty severe. There's no margin for error and failure is probably the only thing I'm most fearful of. What's up? How you guys doing? Good. Right. Doing great, come on, yeah! Oh, settle down, insurance salesman. <laughs> all right, well you six people have been brought here from all over the country for one reason, to stare fear in the eye as you compete for $50,000. Now to win the money, you're gonna have to complete three extreme stunts. Stunts that'll not only test you physically, but mentally as well. If you're too afraid to attempt a stunt, you'll be eliminated. If you try a stunt but fail to complete it, you are gone. However, if you do succeed, you'll move on to the next round and be that much closer to the cash. Always remember that this is a game. So feel free to play with each other's minds and mess with each other's fears. Gamesmanship is always welcome here. Are you ready to see your first stunt? Yeah. Yes. All right. Right on. You are each going to jump off of that rooftop over 10 stories high to the second rooftop over 16 feet away. If you make it, you move on to the next round. If you smack off the side of the building, you will be eliminated. If you fail to attempt the stunt, you'll be eliminated. But if you do succeed and you land on the second rooftop, you'll move on to the next round and be that much closer to the cash. And we have already randomly selected who gets to go first, and Jeffrey, you are lucky number one. Yes, that's me. So let's get that crap out of your face and get the party started. <laughs> Come with me, my friend. So what do you think? Anybody taking hey, any Jeff bets on Jeffrey? Man. I he see the follow. wall with the spikes Look coming at out <laughs> all over the face. I don't think he's down with heights, man. I don't know. Boy, he's a wiry guy, boy. that Jeffrey. He's fouling. 
I think he's gonna chicken out. You don't think he'll do it? No, no, I think he'll do it, but I don't think he'll make it. What got you into this? Got the air pierced for the fun of it. Everybody else did. I had to one up them, one up them, one up them. Same motivation that's gonna make me beat the other five players today. All right, what else you got pierced? You got the, uh, what do you got? All together, give me I a full reveal. I got everything pierced. You got the eyebrows I in between the eyes. Those in between the eyes, the septum, the labrae. The, the nose, the, the ears are all there, stretched out. There. Four nipple rings, navel ring, two down Four south. Four nipple rings and two down south? Two down south. Two. Two. You gonna jump in your, in your penny loaf? You better believe I'm taking the loaf down. <laughs> <laughs> Don't slip. First, Jeff about to fall. He gonna, he gonna hit the side of you. Yeah, I know. Well, now that he had his toolbox out and he's taking out some of those <laughs> items within the facial area, I think he should be all right. When was the last time you had uh, no holes in your face? Um, my brother's wedding. Three or four years ago. You had to take it out for the wedding? That was his wedding gift. I cut off my goatee, put it in a bag, took out all my jewelry, and showed up in a nice Really? Tux. Now, why does a guy like you do Fear Factor? Why are you doing this? Money? Yeah? You look like me. It's hard to get a decent job, you know? You gotta, <laughs> gotta go where the money is. She says she's not afraid, not afraid of anything. Not afraid. You're turning red. Afraid. <laughs> not afraid it's of anything. It's that cute smile, right? How about you, Abby? I'm ready to do this. Why don't you this? give us a jump then? Show us how you jump. Yeah, give us a cheer. You, since you're a, a cheerleader and everything, come on. Give me an F-E-A-R right on. Yeah. 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 She ain't no cheer. Yeah. Well, Jeffrey, good luck. They're going to harness Thank you up, you. and I'll uh, meet you on the other side. I'll see you there. Have a good jump. Thanks. Jeff is not about to make it across here, man. I, I don't see him making it. I mean, he got them tight blue jeans on. <laughs> he ain't going to be able to get no lip. He looks scared. Okay. And I will say, he's been spending more time in front of his compact mirror in yeah. the bathroom doing the makeup. The I'm like, oh, man, come on. Come on he's got the lashes <laughs> That's a little weird. Up, curling. That's a come little on. Weird. Jeffrey, take a peek off the edge. Come on, Jeff, just go yeah. on the fall. You have. All right, you think he's going to be able to make this jump? That's a big jump. 16 no feet is quite a man, jump. Man, his pants are too tight. Oh, Eric the Viking has no faith in Jeffrey the Freak. <laughs> friends are friends. Business is business. This oh, is business. This is business. I see. Hey, do it up there, Jeff. You're not thinking about chicken it out. Go on and do it. <laughs> they think you're going to chicken out. What happened to all that talk earlier, Jeff? Come on, Big Daddy. All right, Jeffrey. You ready? Yeah. All right, anytime you're ready, go right ahead. All right. Make that jump. I'm really not happy that I'm going first, but uh, I'm doing this for my friend's father who passed away, uh, Tony Cavallari. Me and his son, we did all the crazy things together that we could in high school, and i am definitely been thinking of him, and I'm doing it for him today. Don't make it. Work it out. Yes? Hit the phone. It counts. Did he fall? How about that? Yeah. Yeah. How you doing, Jeff? Are you all right? Uh, I'm OK. Kind of nailed my knee there. Looked like you barely made it. I, I, I still had a, a few feet of slack, Tori. Yeah? When I got on the platform, it really didn't look that far to me. I'm like, yeah, no problem. When I started running and I jumped, as soon as I hit the air, I swear the distance like tripled. It just lodged forward and got further away from me while I was there. One of my worries was the fact that it wouldn't be something too scary for me to do. It'd be something that took a, a physical <laughs> endurance that I just didn't have that a larger guy who did sports would have. And nice little stab in the jocks for all the freaks across the country. <laughs> Congratulations, Thank you, you move on to the next round. Thank you. I'm next, baby. Yeah. I'm next. Yeah. Yeah. Don't fall for me. All right, Octavia, cowgirl. Do this. So, uh, have you ever done anything crazy before? Yeah, I jumped off a cliff 10 minutes after I saw a guy die. <laughs> what? Yeah, off the same cliff. It was crazy, but it was and worth it. And you went right back in and did it again. It's so worth it. Yeah, nuts. Why was it so <laughs> worth it? Because you get the free fall. You like fall forever, and there's only like this little circle that you can land in of water. It's awesome. Oh, you're a nut. I live for this stuff. So uh, this chick's nuts. She's not afraid of anything. You guys are in trouble. I don't think she gonna make it. What about you? Are you gonna do the same thing? I might. I <laughs> might hit the side of the mat though. We never know. She doesn't look nervous at all. No, oh, she's, uh -uh. she's loving it. You shaking <laughs> yet? Represent for the ladies. <laughs> oh, shorty sure, doo-wop ain't gonna make it over there. Doo-wop? Yeah, Who's sure. doo-wop? This one right here. She's doo -wop? She's shorty doo-wop? Shorty doo-wop. Oh. Shorty doo-wop? Shorty doo-wop. <laughs> she ain't gonna make it. I so you're saying it. she's gonna lose because she's the shortest girl? Because you're the shortest guy here. Eh? Oh my yeah. god. You're the weirdest guy. Oh. Oh. Is this your lucky hat? I don't need no luck. We'll throw it over the edge down after you. 
She says she's a crazy thrill seeker, though. Let's just see, she's a crazy jumper. She doesn't exactly have long legs. All right, Octavia, you ready to do this? Anytime you're ready, go ahead and jump. Come on, girl. She's crazy, okay. I told you. Nicely done. Yeah, she had her legs. Woo! When I was standing up there and getting ready to take off, I guess there wasn't too much to think about, just run and jump. It happens so fast that you don't get a chance to really feel what you're doing until you land on the bag. Let's work this out. Say, no sliding them penny loafers. Yeah. Bring it on. I'm ready to get it going downtown. Look at him. He's up there throwing punches. He's cocky enough, but he's not crazy enough. Eric the Viking is ready to seize this match. Where did this nickname Eric the Viking come from? I don't even have blonde hair. Vikings have blonde hair. Copenhagen, Denmark is where my family is from. Oh. A few of my friends when we'll head out doing the Viking sort of thing. How does that work with chicks? You pick up chicks, call yourself well, I'm married, Viking? you know, three yeah. years. How is he gonna run in those shoes? I think so he talks Eric himself up, the more nervous he yeah. is. I think Eric likes to just talk himself up. So what's up with the loafers? You gonna jump with those? You know, this is me. They said dress what you would feel appropriate That's, to you do feel? so. This is you it, feel I good feel the like loafers that? there, and I'm in there. See, you look cool when you jump from one building to another building, and you can't look cool in khakis. So he's just <laughs> not gonna make it. Come on, man, that's not Viking attire. Outward appearances can be deceiving. Crazy look at our friend Jeffrey. Boots. No, it isn't. That guy's a freak. All right, well, we're gonna get you harnessed up. Good luck. Appreciate and I'll meet it. Thank you. On you. The other side. All right, thanks. I don't know, girls. I barely made it. I was on the very edge, so. Really? Yeah. <laughs> For all you kids out there, don't try this at home. These are professionals gearing me up. So although this may look like fun, trust me, it's a seasoned veteran that can identify with the fear factor Ness, and that's where we're going with this episode. Eric the Viking! You know, I'm sure he's gonna make it because his ego will float him across it so high. Oh. Getting ready to tempt destiny and realize my fate, which is the end of this trail, to the cushion ahead. 16 stories down. Look at him, he's talking to himself. Take the game, seize the day, carpe diem, essay quam videri. It is better to be than to seem to be. Be up the edge. All right. All right, he's peeking out over the Ooh, edge. Baby. How's it look? It looks good. How does it look looking down at your penny loafers and then the gal? <laughs> Destiny's bringing it down like, oh, you better believe it. Eric, you got good traction? Oh, yeah, baby. He's gonna slip. Oh, he's he ain't gonna, gonna make it in the He's gonna slip. He's got no faith in anybody. His shoe he's gonna slip. Off. Whenever you're ready, make that jump, Rah. baby. No Show him how to do it Viking style with penny loafers. Rah. Walk in the park. One, two, three. Ready? You ready? You ready to do this, Eric? Are you ready? Come on. Rah. You can great. still make it, you just have to pull yourself up. That's great. You see the penny loafers? The penny loafers are kicking. Uh, that dude's oh. gone. He did not make that jump. Oh. Is he gone? Oh. 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 <laughs> he's dangling. No, no, he still can do it. He's, he he's, got, up. he's, he's got time to pull himself up. Oh, you gotta figure out a way to pull oh. yourself up. Oh, man. Come on, Spider Man. Mr. Viking, we had a girl and a freak up, jump Viking? further than you. I'll tell you what, it was the shoes, Joe. I told oh, you, dude. Well, I thought I had the shoes done, and it was the shoes. If there's anything that we've learned from this, say no to penny loafers. I thought the shoes would not be an issue. Looking at the platform and looking across, I thought to myself, stage two, tomorrow. I thought this was going to be a walk in the park. When I started to push off, I didn't get a clean push because it's a flat leather sole. My foot slipped, so I didn't propel myself as far as I should have. When I went across, I knew I was going to be short, but long enough to hit the end, and I was hoping that I could pull myself up, but it was just too tough. 
Sorry, Eric, we gotta send you packing. All right, Jeff. Take it easy. Later. In retrospect, I'm very disappointed in myself. I was overconfident. I think the confidence level was so high that I thought that I would immediately progress to round two, and that was my demise. Watching Eric the Viking just stumble and fall. Did that put a little I'm damper sneakers. in you? I'm wearing sneakers. Oh, I'm wearing you ready to do this? I'm ready. You let's ready go. Let's go. Come with me, my little one. Come on. <laughs> let's go. Let me see what you yeah, got. Girl. You guys think small fry is gonna make it? She doesn't weigh anything. I think she, like, she just goes like this. Yeah, the wind will just the, the yeah. harness will just carry a her. A good over. breeze could carry her to that building. <laughs> if she get a good run, she might pull it off. I don't think so, though. I totally think so. Yeah, she lives. Well, I think, girl. I think there's... She wants to prove herself. People right. always call you small fry. <laughs> something always, yeah, always something to you know, been making fun of my height. How tall are you? Five foot two. Ah, oh, that's a cute. <laughs> How much do you weigh? Whoa, easy. Wait, you're much taller than I am. I'm not much taller than you are, but I'm tall enough to make fun of you. I think she's just up here to have fun. She don't think, really think she knows. Yeah. She don't think she's gonna win. Are you afraid of heights at all? Not at all. Not at all? Not at all. This is over 100 it. feet high. Nope. Are you a good jumper? I think so. You're gonna show them. I'm gonna show them I can do Big it. Big thing come in little packages, exactly. right? Exactly. You can do it! Yeah! Woo! Nah. No, she can't. Yeah, if he so. made it, and you made it, ah, oh, this should be a cake. Oh, oh I we knew we were gonna make it, so. you? Eric the Viking thought he would make it too. Yeah. Pretty cool view up here. All right, Abby. If she makes it, are you gonna have more confidence in your ability to make it? Nah. You want her to fail? I don't know. Come on, how Maybe. happy were you when Eric the Viking choked? Pretty happy. Pretty happy. <laughs> I was pretty happy. <laughs> oh, shout it, do wop. Go time. All right, Nicole, you ready? Let's go, Nicole. I'm a little nervous standing here having just seen Eric fall. He's a lot taller than me, and it makes me realize that this is a lot harder than it looks. All right, jump anytime you're ready. Go ahead. Uh-oh, the pressure's oh, on us now. It is. It's all you, Abby. What's up, girl? I'm really scared, man. No, you're not. You're trying I to am. freak me out. I am. Look, feel that. No, you're not. It's beating fast. Oh. Look at you. You're all yeah. beating. You're all happy now. Oh, yeah. I saw the distance we had to jump, and honestly, I did not think I was going to make it. My height compared to the guys is drastically shorter. I have no idea how I made it, but I did, and I was really happy. Uh, Abby and Mark are a little concerned. They should be concerned. You think they're gonna make it? I hope not. You got those little legs going, man. Right? <laughs> Blue. Don't underestimate me. I, I would never. I would never do all such a right, thing. All right. Congratulations. Thank you did a good you. job, and you move into tomorrow. Thank now, you. Now come on over here and make fun of these guys. All right. Hey, remarkable Marcus. What was all that stuff you were talking about? Way to go. You said small fry couldn't make it. <laughs> Abby, you're next. So, have you ever done anything crazy before? Yeah. What have you Bungie done? Bungee jumped, skydived, cliff dived. When I was a little girl, I used to dive off the refrigerator. So you're like a little thrill seeker too. I am. Is everybody in this show a thrill seeker today? I think today? so. That's why we're wow. here. So you're not nervous about this at all? No. You're not nervous of heights? No. What are you afraid of? I don't know. Besides That's why me. I'm here. She's the same height as me. I think she'll be okay. You think she'll be okay? I think she'll be okay. See, yeah, I think if you okay. made it, I mean, I should make it. Yeah, but. I should. Eric is like five times my height. He didn't make but it. But he had on penny loafers, though. I mean, come on. Good luck to you. Thank you. I'm gonna strap you up in a safety okay. harness. I'll meet you on the other side. Have a good jump. Thanks. You guys think Abby's gonna make it? Nah. Let me see. I don't know. She said she was a cheerleader. She's, you know. <laughs> she she can jump. Man, I'm getting scared, man. You should be scared, dude. I know, man. How you doing up there, Abby? Good. You all right? Yeah. Give me an A. A. <laughs> Give me a B. B. He's nervous. It's reality. <laughs> just took <laughs> a back seat and just My, my legs player. are shaking. I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. He's nervous. <laughs> he is nervous. Very. Oh, I Very. think he might choke. Oh, I yeah. smell a choker. I would love to see all of you win $50,000. However, that is not going to be the case. It's not going to be So, <laughs> seeing as how that's not going to be the case, I would like to see at least a few of you smacking that thing hard. All right, Abby, you ready to do this? All right, jump whenever you're ready. Go ahead. She's 
she's dangling. Abby! What? What happened? I didn't make it! Abby, I thought you were like a crazy thrill-seeking, running, jumping fool! I thought so! Right when I went to take off, I took to a couple steps, and then I backed up. I'm like, oh, why did I do that? I think I started to really think about it when I took the second step. I just kept thinking, just look at the mat, look at the mat. And I think for a split second, I looked down because I remember seeing down and then mat. And I shouldn't have done that. Oh, wow. Well. Sorry, it Abby. Was fun. Sorry, did you have fun? I had a blast. All right, well, yeah. we got to send you packing. Thank you. Take it easy. Bye. Bye. Even though I didn't make it, I'm so proud of myself and my husband and my friends are going to be proud of me for making it this far. So that's all that matters. Tell me right now you're going to make this jump. Please, don't break my heart. You're going to make this I'm jump? I'm a fly, man. You're going to fly? I'm going to fly. Right, I'm going to do a Superman jump. Come on, baby, let's, let's go. go. Oh, man. All right, we're down to three and a possible yeah. fourth. What do you think? We're down to three. Yeah, three. You think so? Yeah, yeah. he's yeah. nervous. He's scared of heights. That's a far drop. All right, Marcus, you ready to do this? All right, Marcus, anytime you're ready, make that jump. Here he goes. thinking it was the stutter step that got me. And when I ran, I tried to get that stutter step and jump, and just missed it. I'm not the best jumper in the world, but I mean, I know I can jump. Wish them all luck, and I hope, you know, they have fun doing their next stunt. And I hate that I'm not here to, to join them, but you know, it's cool. Congratulations to the three of you. Yeah. We'll all move into tomorrow and let's get out of here and see what tomorrow has in store for us. Going in today against little itty bitty Nicole and uh, God loving Octavia, I'm really hoping it's something very vile and disgusting that I'm just gonna kind of grin and bear my way through it and one of them will drop out. After jumping from one building to another yesterday, I am much more confident about what I have to do today. It was extremely difficult to get to this point where I'm at right now. I can't believe I even made it this far, but now that I am here, I'm here to win. I want to win. I think we're all growing together because there's only three of us. And we all get along so well that it's going to be sad when one person gets knocked off, but that's what we're here for. What's up, kids? Going. Good. Good. How you doing? Good. Good. What's up, man? What's up with the cane? Uh, a little rough landing yesterday, but yeah? I'll be right as rain for tomorrow. That's an interesting little cane. You can truck that yourself. Made, yeah. You made that yourself? Now, I hope you guys are all hungry, because today we're going to be serving spaghetti and meatballs. Fear Factor style. That's night crawlers and coagulated blood balls. It's <laughs> coagulated cow's blood wrapped in pig intestine. You will have four minutes time in which you must eat five coagulated blood balls. You must use your teeth only. You can't use a fork and you can't use your hands. If you do do it and you put down the five coagulated blood balls within four minutes, you'll move on to the next round. If you don't, if you can't get through them, if you chuck, if you choose not to eat them, you will be eliminated. But if you do succeed, you will move on to the next round and be that much closer to the cash. And we've already randomly selected who gets to go first. And Nicole, you are lucky number one. I'm ready. I hope you are hungry. I'm starving. Yummy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> Remember, you cannot use your hands, you okay. cannot use a knife, you cannot use a fork. Do not start until I say go. How am I supposed to find You're these You're gonna things? use your face. Are you ready? Yeah. You have four minutes in which time you must eat five of these blood balls. Okay. Ready? Set, go. Dig in there, kid. <laughs> Time's a wasting. There's one. There you go. Ew. <laughs> oh. There's bubbles off the worms. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> You're doing great. It's a little dry. 
Have some worms to loosen it up. Come on, Nicole, you can do it. Come on, don't you chuck. I'm not going to, I'm just gonna swallow it. Okay. If you're gonna hurl, you do it three minutes left. You have three minutes left. You have, you have to pick up the pace. No, 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 don't you quit. Don't you quit, you can do it. You can do it, it's all in your mind. Yes, don't shake your head no. No is not, no, that's not there, it's not available. It's only yes, come on, you can do this. You're fine. You quit? Really? Oh, you big baby. It's all stuck in my throat, I couldn't swallow it anymore. Sorry it didn't work out for you, but it's okay. I gotta send you packing. Okay, bye guys, good luck. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> Jeffrey, how you feeling? You hungry? Oh yeah. Are you? No, not really. No? I was hungry until I saw her. Hmm. <laughs> now a guy like you, I would think you're uh, a few more disgusting things than your average person. Is, is that a correct assumption? I, I, I've had my share of interesting moments in yeah. life, yeah. Right, this I'm is just, so uh, you, Jeff. <laughs> this scene's made for me. Yeah. I thought I requested the kosher meal. <laughs> All right, hang on a second. Wait till I say go. And you think your barbs and your metal pieces in your face are gonna aid you? I'm gonna try to here? skewer them and pull them out. Yeah, is that your move? Yeah. You have four minutes, in which time you have to eat five of them. You know that, right? There's five of them in there. You gotta dig them out. Ready? In three, two, one, go. Dig. Come on, bro, you gotta dig. Love it, love it. <laughs> Is that good stuff? Don't talk, man. <laughs> you don't have a whole lot of time. Don't stab yourself either when you're trying to stop <laughs> <laughs> stop the puke. There you go. Come on. It's a race against time. Good thinking. Clear those other ones out. Oh, nice. Don't get a worm stuck in that giant hole in your ear, either. Yeah, that too. There you go, dig in, come on, man. Two, two, you love it. You got a minute and a half to get the final two. You got a hustle, let's go. Dig them out, find them. <laughs> you shouldn't be so happy, you're next. I know. You're screwed, girl. <laughs> come on, man, don't talk. Faster! Oh, it's coming up. Oh, there it is. Find that last up. one. It's coming up. Oh. There it is. You see it? Come on, you gotta go. Oh, it's coming up. It smells rancid. <laughs> come on, man. Come on. Oh, it's coming up. They're all coming up. Oh. <laughs> Don't laugh, man. You gotta eat. <laughs> oh, you gotta keep them down. For Ten, a minute. nine. Eight, seven, six, oh, five, oh, four, no. three, oh, two, one. Here it comes. Open your mouth. Time. That's awesome. My friends are gonna give me so much crap for this. All right. Because there's only one person remaining, if Octavia succeeds, she will automatically win the $25,000 today, and she will come back with you and Nicole to compete for the remaining $25,000. All right, Jeff, I gotta send you packing. You can't watch this. Uh, I'll see you soon. All right, man. It's down to you. Oh, yeah. Love it. You think you can do this? Mm-hmm. And what makes you so confident? Because I just, uh... Jeffrey's a freak and he couldn't do it. <laughs> what makes you think you can do it? What makes you so confident? Uh, fear multiplies faster than faith, and I have faith, so I'm gonna do it. You have an opportunity right here and now to win $25,000. If you can eat five of these in four minutes, right now you're gonna win 25 grand. You gonna do it? Yep. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, go. There goes one, come on. Come on, it's a $5,000 blood ball. There you go. It was hard to find the blood balls. You had to um, move all the worms off the plate in order to even see them. You could smell the worms and stuff and there was worm goo all over everything. I kept getting worms attached to the blood balls and so I kept dropping them to get the worms out of there. 
You've got two minutes. You're doing great on time. You just got to get these down. You're going to be fine. You're going to do this. You're going to win $25,000 right now. Or you're just going to have a mouthful of blood, and that would suck, right? So come on, let's do it. Come on, you got to move faster. you got to move faster. You're going to be down on the wire just like Jeffrey and fail. you got a minute and a half left. Come on, let's go. There you go. Come on, come on, come on. At first, I got the first three down. But after that, like the fourth one, I would start to chew it, and then I thought, well, I'll save time by finding the fifth one. But then I couldn't get the fourth one down my throat. So then I ended up storing them in my cheeks. You have one minute left. Come on, you gotta swallow these. 25 grand for you. Twenty seconds. Come on, twenty seconds. Come on, let's go. You can do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my God. <laughs> I've seen the bottom. <laughs> Congratulations, you just showed me the bottom. How's the taste? Not bad? Great. Great? Well, there's good news and bad news. You know? Dude, let the good me news is you come back tomorrow. <laughs> the bad news is now the three of you are playing for $25,000. So uh, let's get out of here and go find Nicole and Jeffrey and uh, see what tomorrow has in store for you. Come on. My knee doesn't hurt as much as it did the other day, but it still is a bit sore, and I'm just wondering if it's gonna be a physical stunt, if I'm going to be able to just ignore the pain and get it done as quick as possible. Even though the money is only half of what it was, I think that we're competing to win, so regardless of how much we're playing for, it's still the last event. Three contestants that are left, we all have equal chance of winning, which makes me feel better, because I know that I can beat them if I try my best. Well, the three of you are very fortunate to be here today, considering yesterday you all choked on your blood balls. As a result, we have cut the prize down to $25,000. And here is your final stunt. You're each gonna be strapped in the cockpit of that fuselage and lowered into the icy cold water and flipped upside down. When the red light in the dash pops up, you will release yourself from your seat, find your way to the rear hatch door, open it, escape, and then swim to the surface. If you're too afraid to attempt the stunt, you'll be eliminated. If for any reason the safety people have to come and rescue you, you're gone. But if you do succeed and you have the quickest time, you will walk away today with $25,000. And we've already randomly selected who gets to go first. And Jeffrey, you are lucky number one again. Oh, yeah. You ready to do this? Uh, yeah, I guess so. All right, well, won't you come with me? Come on. Jeff seems like he's a little nervous. I don't know, I think he might get a little disoriented when they flip him over. Yeah. I think his knee's gonna come into play and he won't be able to yeah. get out. All right, Jeffrey, how you feeling? I'm a, I'm a bit chilly shaky, but... You a little chilly shaky? Yeah. What's chilly shaky? What I'm a mean? little bit cold and I'm using that to cover the fact that I'm a little bit shaky. I think Jeff might have a disadvantage because he's a smoker, so maybe holding his breath might be a little hard. Yeah, that's true. What's making you shake? The nervousness or the cold? The, the cold, the water, the Everything. wondering, am I going to go the wrong way when I get out that door? Oh, don't wrong? think, Dad. you got to think positive. Come uh, on, man. Uh, you need the money, right? Yes, I do. I think I'm happy about going last. Would you rather I go? I don't know. There's a lot of pressure because I know what I have to beat, but at the same time, there's a lot of pressure going first, too. I, I don't know. I think I'm happy going last. Good luck to you, my man. Thank you. All right, we're going to lock you in. All right. I do think Jeff has a disadvantage because his, uh, his makeup will smear <laughs> and he'll pull out his compact. <laughs> Jeff's freaking out. He is? He's totally freaking out. His hands are shaking. He's losing his mind. I don't know if Jeff's so good with pressure. Might have a female winner this week. Might? Definitely? Oh, Nicole definitely. says definitely. 
All right, Jeffrey, I'm gonna count you down. Remember, don't unbuckle your seatbelt until the red light comes on, and that's when the clock starts. All right, don't forget, if you go out the wrong hole, you're eliminated. Are you ready? Yeah. Is that water cold? Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Lights on, here he goes. Oh, he's panicking. He went out the wrong way. That's it. What happened, Jeffrey? Once I saw the red light, I actually had a better breath than I thought I would have, and it was a lot calmer than I thought it would be upside down underwater. Turned around and started going to the back. I, I hit my head on one of the chairs. Uh, threw me off of it. I was having a lot of trouble seeing. And once I got knocked back, I pushed myself forward, tried to feel my way around for the door. I felt too far, and uh, I guess when I stuck part of myself out the back, that's when the divers just grabbed me and pulled me out. Well, the guys had to rescue you because you came out the wrong door, so you're eliminated. I'm sorry, but I got to send you packing. The money was more important than the win to me. I don't really care that I lost, and I'm glad that I lost to the two people I lost to. You know, it was fun. It was a blast. All right, ladies. Well, did you learn anything watching Jeffrey freak out? Don't go out the wrong door. Don't go out the <laughs> wrong door. Octavia, can you see good underwater? Are you good at that? Yes. Do you think maybe his mascara blurred his vision, perhaps? Possibly. Yeah, or the, the crazy hair, or maybe it's the holes and the bubbles coming out of the holes <laughs> in the eyelids. I think he was just nervous going in. Do you think he just checking out? I Is think it? that he might have panicked a little bit. Yes, I hear you, shorty do up. <laughs> Nicole, do you think that Octavia's gonna choke the same way? I don't think she'll choke like he did now. All right, well, me and Octavia are gonna leave and talk some trash about you. All right. She's go gonna go it. do the stunt in wicked fast time. All right. Right? Yes. Yes, yes? all right. <laughs> This is it, you gotta get in there, you gotta set a good time, because you gotta realize Nicole is waiting in the rings to snatch your victory. I don't think she'll freak out like um, Jeffrey did. It's just a matter who does it quicker. All right, give me a jacket. All right. Go fast. You bet. Afraid of losing? No. Maybe you should take Octavia's jacket. Maybe you can put some voodoo on it. I'm you can put it on. <laughs> Let's do her jacket while she's freezing in the water. Yeah, there you go. How you doing, Octavia? Great! Right. I hope she screws up. I will feel bad, but I mean, I want to win. All right, Octavia, remember, make sure you go out the right door, the one with the fear factor sign. All right, don't forget, if you go out the wrong hole, you're eliminated. Won't be happening. Here we go. Lights on. He's out of the seat. He's out the door. All right, 18 seconds. A whole lot better than Jeffrey. When I first got out of my seat, I got really disoriented. Because once the water's in there and you're trying to look at the red light under the water, you forget where you need to go. And then you get confused by the other seat that's in there, too. The first door I looked at didn't have a sticker on it. But I think one thing that was to my advantage was when I was getting out, I pushed off of the metal part. So that way, it got me up out of the water faster. <laughs> All right. Nicole, it is now your job to beat Octavia's 18 seconds. You know exactly what you have to do now. Your destiny lies in your hands, my little one. Ready to do this? I'm ready. I think Nicole's going to do it and get out in time. I just hope that she doesn't get out before 18 seconds is up. Would you rather have been last? Originally, I wanted to be last just so I knew what time I had to beat. But now I'm glad that I went second because it's kind of out of my hands. Like, right. there's nothing more I could have done. So now you can kick back and relax and yeah. see if she wants some money. She either beats me or she doesn't. That's oh. what I can do. I don't want her to beat my time. <laughs> Are you concerned that perhaps you didn't quite go fast enough? Is oh, that I know haunting you? I didn't you? go fast enough. You, you know you didn't go fast enough? Well, I may have gone fast enough, but I know I could have gone faster. So you think Shorty Duop's gonna beat your time? Is that what you're saying? I am praying that she takes longer than 18 seconds. How you doing, Nicole? I'm ready! <laughs> All right, Nicole, remember! 
over. Do not touch your seatbelt latch until you see the red light. You ready to do this? The time to beat is 18 seconds. Here we go. In three, two, one. Red light's on. Here she comes. 15 seconds! Woo! Octavia, yeah! sorry. Nicole! Woo! Congratulations! Thank you. you jumped between the two buildings. <laughs> You gagged on the blood balls, but lucky for you, you got to come back for the final day, and you won it. You are a Fear Factor champion, and evidently fear is not a factor for you. Congratulations. Yeah, woo! <laughs>